Hi and welcome. In this video, you will learn what is a WRK file in SQL Server. When is it created and what is its impact? Before we proceed into this video, I would recommend you to watch this log shipping configuration video. If you already know what is log shipping and all, that's fine. If you haven't watched this video and you are not aware of this log shipping concept and all, uh, you just go through this video. I will leave a link in the description. Okay, you can watch it from there. And I have also made a video on what is a tough file in SQL Server. So this tough file and WRK file are, are twin questions I can say during interviews. So I will also leave a link in the description for this video. You can watch it from there. Okay. What is a WRK file? Have you ever seen a file with .wrk extension in your log shipping copy folder? Do you know what is its purpose and what is its use? And if you never notice this file in your log shipping configuration, then please do watch this video till the end. WRK file is your work file in log shipping. When the copy job at the secondary server is executed, the log backups from the backup folder at the primary server are copied to the copy folder which is present at the secondary server. Until the copy job is executed successfully, these files will take .wrk extension in the copy folder. And this temporary naming using WRK extension ensures that the files are not picked by the restore job until they are successfully copied. Normally when the log backups are very small, you won't really observe the WRK file. In a fraction of seconds, these are converted to .trn file. But when you perform large transactions at the primary server and then your log backups will become relatively bigger, then you can see .wrk file in the copy folder when the copy job is in progress and it stay for a longer period of time because of the size of transaction log backup. And sometimes you may see a .wrk file that is present in your copy folder all the time. That might be an old copy that has failed for some reason. Let's say I have configured log shipping between two servers. My primary database is in server 1 and secondary database is in server 2 and my backup folder will be present in server 1 only and copy folder will be present in server 2. You can also have this backup folder and copy folder in a uh, shared folder as per your requirement. Okay, So when backup job is executed, the SQL server will take log backup of your primary database and keep that log backup in a backup folder. And next when you execute the copy job, the TRN files present in backup folder will be copied from backup folder to copy folder. And while the copy job is in progress, the TRN files will be copied as .wrk extension. Until the job is executed completely, it will take .wrk extension only. Once the copy job is executed successfully, this WRK extension will be renamed to .trn. This temporary naming of .wrk ensures that SQL Server will only take .trn files during restore operation. And you will notice this .wrk files only if the log backup is at least few MBs. I mean, if you perform huge transactions, then if copy job is in progress, then only you can see .wrk extension. For small transactions, it will change into .trn within fraction of seconds. Here I have two servers and for one of my existing database, LShip, I have already configured log shipping. Now, I am going to execute the backup job at the primary server instance. I have already performed a large transaction and once I execute this backup, you will see the transaction log backup 
in the backup folder at the primary server instance. Here is my backup folder at the primary server instance. You can see the backup file has come and it's two point sorry this is my backup file and you can see it's 475 MB in size. So my next step would be executing the copy job from the secondary server instance. And let me show you my copy folder here. This is my copy folder. Once I execute the copy job, you will be able to see the TRN file that copied from backup folder to the copy folder. So let me execute the copy job. This is the copy job. I am starting the job. Now we can see TRN files here. So first it will take the dot WRK extension. And within few seconds, it will rename it to dot trn. You can see dot wrk. Just wait for some time, it will turn into dot trn. Now we have seen it has automatically turned into dot trn. Okay. Because my copy job here is completed successfully. While the copy job is in progress, the file will be copied with .wrk extension. Okay, WRK file is unnoticed because generally these transaction log backups are very small in size in production servers or the servers which you use regularly. But if you want to see this WRK file, you have to make a big transaction and then you would notice it while the copy job is in progress. At backup location, the files will contain only TRN extension and WRK file is a temporary file which is being copied using LS copy job. Just now we have seen. And after successful completion of your uh, copy job, it will change into .trn extension.